Hey y'all, Decamon here, and welcome back to Stellar Blade. Last time! Oh boy, did we give the death counter a workout. Oh, man, that Gigas rematch was a thing. <laughs> uh, but beyond that, we knocked out some more side quests. Finally got over here to where we can start the next main story section. And are had ourselves a little one-on-one -on -one time. <laughs> uh, I, uh... I have no words for the, the smackdown that Gigas laid down upon me. I don't know what was going on there. I don't know, is he legit tougher? Probably. Was I screwing up? Also probably. And that's just the way it goes sometimes. It's a combination of six to one, half a dozen to the other sometimes. I, you never know. <sighs> but regardless, time to do some main story for a while. Oh dear. It's dark down here. Ido cybernetics industry, hmm? Uh oh. Eh. The blade stopped working all of a sudden. Hmm? The drone scan isn't working either. Hold on. Oh fuck me, I can't scan? There's an unusual electromagnetic security field disrupting the system. There should be Natibas around here. Ah, equipping the drone is still possible. Same goes for shooting at range. I guess we should thank Lily for that. That's more than enough. Entering now. Wait, am I stuck on ranged only in here? Oh my god, I am. Oh, fuck me. Retrieve the second hypercell. I can't scan. I can't do anything but shoot. Oh God, this is gonna be horrible. The shooting doesn't do that much damage. And there's no map. So just like when we were on Ido 7, I am mapless. I am not liking the fact that I can't scan. That's just evil game. Oh, replenish ammo. Okay. Okay, so at the very least, I will not have to worry too much about ammo, but... Man, I'm wishing I had taken that ammo expansion the outside, now. The ruins looked old. But inside, it looks so modern. <laughs> Something about this feels off to me. The time period doesn't seem to line up at all. I feel right. the same. Ooh. You are fake. We are humanity, not you. We will make the false world clean again and purify this world with our hands. Oh dear. Got some human supremacists going on, I imagine. Guys that don't like the cybernetics whatsoever. Oh, ma'am. Whoa. The hell is this? Purification scanner? Well, if I'm right, and this thing's gonna freak out because I've got cybernetics. Yep. <sighs> oh no. On the floor. Step back. There's a rope in front of you. Uh. Huh. Interesting. See, this one I was able to make. Wasn't able to make the one in the wasteland. Yeah. Okay, okay, seriously, Eve, how hard is it to swing straight here? There we go. Uh, booting sequence. Booting complete. Enter admin ID. Raphael confirmed. Proceeding with command prompt. Input command confirmed. My name is Raffi. I am the central computer for the Humanity Liberation Front. Liberate humanity from the oppression of the machines. Oh, yep, I was right. Human supremacists. Conducting experiments to revolutionize humanity. I answer to admin commands. Oh. And another spot to replenish my ammo, even though I've yet to actually use any. Hmm. That's minorly concerning. Did I miss a spot where I should be using my ammunition? Hi. Well, that's one way to greet people. The blood bags. Those are fun. At least this guy gives back ammo. Oh my goodness. Wow. This 
place. <laughs> it's filled with capsules. Mm -hmm. Was it a research facility? I feel like I'm inside an old like cathode tube or something. Jeez. These things are massive. I mean, unable to hold more slugs. Didn't have any slugs there to pick up, did I? Oh. I think there might be one behind me. I mean, if all you're gonna throw at me is the blood bags, we'll be okay. Like any actual warrior class, however. <sighs> like that. Then we have a minor problem. Although he actually went down relatively easily. I think it's because I got him in the weak spot by mistake. <laughs> Ooh. There's a count. There's an earthquake. That's also disconcerting. Big red ball thing. Is that the power source? Hmm. Well, I don't need the rest. So I shall simply recharge my slugs and move on with our day. Hey! <laughs> Cheeky little game. Cheeky! All right, fine. I'll take the recharge for the HP bar now. Thank you. Happy? You made me use it. With a cheap shot right there. And that air dash is atrocious. Oh. Dead end. Oh. Am I supposed to? No. God, again, I'm really wishing I had that scanner. Where's the plate? Mm hmm. No. Looking to see if there's somewhere else I might be able to actually shoot. Hit. Okay. Travel to the next area before the gate closes? Oh. Oh. Didn't see the switch. Didn't see the switch. That's on me. Oh, hi. Yeah, I figured he was a live one. Straight up just didn't see the switch. There, here's another wormy one. At least they go down relatively easy. And they also seem to be uh, quite willing to drop more bullets. Oh, I was expecting a directional input puzzle. You're just gonna give it to me for free. Oh, semi-free! Man, I actually wish I had gotten that shotgun shell now. Oh God! Get off! Dick. Didn't even offer anything beyond just skill point bonus. Come on. Reload ammo. Load. Thank you. worked very well. Oh god! Ah, I missed the blood bags. That was on me. <laughs> okay, game, I don't need the hint right now. Hmm? Uh, humanity liberation front for humanity for life. From machine domination to blood red freedom. We are the owners of Earth. We are the natives of this land. Lovely. 
Going, 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 going. Oh, okay. I thought this one was on a timer too. It's not, which means I can go pull the U-turn and shoot this guy in the face. How did that not set the second one off? guys go down so easily. I mean, I'm just using the basic slugs. I'm not even doing anything fancy. Honestly, because the basic slugs are still really good. Sector A07. Hmm. Oh, gods. Maybe the pattern under your feet is a hit. Okay. Triangle, circle, X, square. Okay. So we're just gonna go clockwise around the PlayStation controller. Okay, so triangle, circle, X, square, triangle, circle, X. Okay, no safe spot in between. Maybe the pattern under your feet is a hit. Yes, yes, I see that. Triangle, circle. This is the weirdest freaking security system I've ever seen. X square overshoot. Oh god. Then we go triangle. So triangle. Circle. X square triangle circle X I don't need a hint game square triangle circle X Great. square let's move to the next area <sighs> not too bad uh, apart from the platforming of this game being a little wonky I am the Humanity Liberation Front Central Computer Raffi for humanity, for life. Confidentiality and quarantine are important in this underground facility. We ask for your understanding since it is important to be prepared for sudden situations that may occur during research and experiments. Please follow all safety procedures when entering the facility. Thank you. Mm-hmm. That's a safe spot. May as well, and not like I've taken that much damage, but I can rest it. No reason not to. There. I do wish the basic slugs were restored at rest points, but I can understand why they're not. What the shit? Specimen Preservation Lab. I've detected some creepy crawlies in this room, Adam. We're gonna, we're gonna hold off on this until I finish giving this place a proper once-over. <laughs> uh, yeah. Topside check. I imagine this is my way out of here. Okay. You say there's a fusion cell in here, huh? Oh. Hmm. I imagine that's some sort of beam reflector, but I'm not knowing what... Uh, I don't have a, a source beam yet. That's the tricky part. These beam reflector things are everywhere. Oh. We need a fusion cell in order to get out of here. Maybe I do need to go upstairs first. Or do I poke this thing? Nope. Climb the ladder. Oh, yep. Okay, fine. Fine. I was meant to go upstairs after all. I thank you. Hey, getting to stick to the ladder sometimes. Okay. 
So the game's like, no, just go upstairs first. Trolley there, game. Little trolley there. Oh, code time. Oh. Got an easy one all of a sudden. Huh, wonder why. You already showed me the harder version, game. Why are you going back to the easy one? Oh, because there was nothing of real value in there. It's just potions and consumables. Hmm. Ooh. These rooms have seen better days, man. Oh, hi. The little guys. Idos Company, the leader in human innovation. Thank you for visiting our cybernetics factory. We are the front runners in new technologies, the new existence, and the new normal. Experience what Eidos Company has to offer through its various programs. We ask you for understanding and compliance with pre-entry security procedures. Please provide your reservation number and we will be with you shortly. Thank you. Okay. So I'm thinking the Human Liberation Front guys took this place over after Eidos fell. Ah, new door. The door on the other side is open. What about the door on this side? I want to be able to go in that little lab. Hmm. Oh, hi, sir. Oh, hello. Resident Evil zombies, you guys are not. <laughs> Though it was a valiant attempt on your part. Bridge? Bridge! Incomplete bridge. What, were you guys expecting the freaking corporate lackeys to be making leaps across these things, huh? I think not. Just checking. Clearing my corners, clearing my corners. Ooh, that will be handy. Okay, and this will turn on our buddy the laser. The laser is on. Let's go down. And we've got to get it into that. Okay. Oh, that also turned on this door because this door was not openable. certainly went through the old ammo cache. Whew. Thank goodness there's just a lot of free slugs laying around here. <laughs> and suddenly I'm back to full. Ah, that was a shortcut. Okay. Uh, oh, I think it was actually mandatory. I think the game decided it was going to lock that door on me. Major. Bridge number two. Bridge number two. Again, somehow expecting your employees to be making these death to flying leaps is hilarious and kind of silly. Now, about this death beam. 
Oh. That one is locked in place. I see how this is going to go. All right, first off, we're gonna rotate. Then we're going to move. Whoa, the test subjects are alive. Then we're going to regret life decisions because these guys are apparently experimenting on Nativas. Which seems incredibly fucking dangerous to me. Cute puzzle, but I really don't like how slow these blocks are to move around. Also, apparently I didn't need one. So freeing that extra one that was in the corner there was completely unnecessary from the looks of it. There we are. Ah, my fusion cell. Many Great. thanks, good sir. Success. Yes, all that for a friggin' fusion cell. Out. Many thanks. Elevator. So these guys were experimenting on Nativa, so that definitely leads me to believe that the Nativas were human created. <sighs> Created. Uh. Do you think humans use this facility to study nativas? Or yes, they might have done the leap. After all, knowing your enemy is often the first step towards defeating them. <laughs> but this place seems more like a manufacturing facility to me. See, I'm betting the Human Liberation Front made these things to counteract the uh, rampant growth of cybernetics and augmented humans. That's my uh, that's my current theory at the very least. We'll see how that pans out. Thank you. Uh, quick pit stop to refresh, and we'll be good to move on. Hmm. Aw, why thank you, sir. And then I'm guessing after the, uh, the Nativas were created, they clearly went on a friggin' rampage. Because, my goodness, this place looks like a friggin' Resident Evil biolab. Oh my goodness. This is a boss room. All the lights are red. I have a bad feeling. This is either a boss room, it's either a boss room or it's a, uh, must be a power supply somewhere. It's or it's a very least a big fight room. I mean, look at all the freaking shells on here. Yeah, that's not good. I'm locked in. Oh, damn, we're stuck. Yes, I see that. Here they come. The little ones can just go under it, the big ones... Oh. Yeah, the big ones I don't understand. Oh yeah, they just go through the- they just go through those lasers like it's nothing. Did he knock me into the laser and insta-kill me? Oh, that's trolly. I had plenty of health. At least I thought I did. Oh, damn. We're stuck. Yeah, the lasers, I think, I think the laser straight up insta-killed me. Oh, 
lasers without a single scratch. The fact that I don't have, the fact that I don't have my sword means I also don't have a block button. Oh yeah, no, yeah, I touched the lasers even once and it's instant death. No grace period, no zappy knockback. It is just, you wander into a laser by mistake, you're dead. And they're, you know, full across all sides of the arena. Damn, we're stuck. Yep, they're full across all sides of the arena, lovely. So I have to be very cognizant of where the hell I am. These guys only go down in one shot. Wow. They pass through the lasers without a single scratch. Wait a minute, they're moving. Glad you made it. They were moving there. I saw the lasers start to move at the last second. Ah, hi. Apparently the little ones don't count. <sighs> Whew. Done. The elevator should work now. Lucky me! Holy crap! Not fun. A little hectic there, game. Just a little hectic. Elevator go up. Elevator go up. Didn't I just have a rest point? Here as well. There should be a weakness. I feel like I just had a safe point. Sure, go ahead. Uh, more interested in this. Unfortunately, what I really want is a tree that gives me ranged abilities, which I ain't got one. So I guess I'm just wasting points on upgrading another skill here. Uh, yeah, well, fine. Just boosting additional damage to shields seems pretty nice, because that helps me chunk down shields with beta skill. What the fuck is that? Place to shoot this thing. There it is. Thank you. Hive. Curious. You're gonna not let me look at what this hive thing is, huh? You know, you got me curious, and now all of a sudden you're not gonna show me lump. <laughs> not what I was looking at, but cute nonetheless. The filer got. Okay. I'm starting to think these things were more than just human experiments. These things look like ex-humans. That is clearly a former human at some point. <sighs> the fuck are they making them out of human corpses? Ugh, this is nasty. Oh, rapidly produces small nativas. Oh. Okay. Glad we got that out of the way. Nothing needed. Oh. A valiant attempt, sir. But unfortunately, you announced your prop your pre your your presence far too quickly. Maybe growl after hitting me. Then then you're good. The contamination is advancing here. I do not have the passcode. This closed. We have to look for a security code. No shit, Adam. So these things, I'm guessing now, my, I'm guessing some sort of bioweapon. Like I said, I think these were made by the humanists, uh, and clearly they got out of control. Passcode? Passcode! I was somewhere nearby. More interested in the drone upgrade shit, though. Uh-huh. Is that the way we're meant to go is the $2 question. 
Or is this the we're way we're meant to go? Okay, this is the way we're meant to go. So I'm gonna go back. Hopefully. Try entering the cove. Or maybe not. I don't know why you don't just leave the code up. It worked. So fuck me, which way am I actually supposed to go? Hmm. Too damn curious now. If this is gonna lock me out somehow. Yep. This way did indeed lock me out. So that passageway that I needed the passcode for is the proper way to go. That way was just for a lovely little treasure chest, which I couldn't take 90% of the stuff in it because it's all bullets. And I'm full of bullets. I'm still full of bullets. How many bullets do you think I'm spending on these guys? They don't hit them. <laughs> They're not that difficult to kill. Oh, fuck. All right. Wind is making it hard to control the drone. <laughs> I'm a little more worried about the debris here, Adam. Down. Try up. Up as a chest. Ah, that I needed the drone hacking for. Awesome. Buttload a nano element. Including some really high quality with nano element. Ah, the way she goes down that. Oh, hello. Ah. Enough for a skill point. Reload on slugs. Oh. Sir. There's a slug refill right here. I don't know what you were accomplishing. It's not like I couldn't see you there. Oh, here we go again. Oh, see, this one's doing it. Oh, by the skin of the teeth. By the skin of the teeth. Thank you. Nothing I desperately wanted. Just more consumables. The supply camp is here as well. Huh? Uh, let's take a breath anyway. Ah, big camp. Oh. 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 Okay, no, they were. Definitely manufacturing Natibus' bioweapons here. The Natibus here, they look almost human. These Natibus are definitely different from the ones on the surface. A lot of them aren't even on our list of Natibus. Elder, you're keeping something from us. What is it? Elder. 
maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the Natibas were like some aliens and these ones are here to basically be like Natiba human hybrids. Huh. Uh, I definitely don't have enough to do any major upgrades there. Uh, but I can not upgrade the drone yet because I need the last two slots here as much as I really want one of these. Uh, or do I just take the shotgun shell magazine? I... Save it. If for some reason I feel like I need them, at least I have the drone upgrades. Like, if I go into this boss and I'm like, I do not have the firepower to beat this thing. I'm running out of bullets constantly. Then that would be acceptable. What was the point of this? Oh. That was the point of this. Oh, fuck. Are we sure that's not an alpha? It's fugly enough to be one. Oh God, it's like Legion on the fair, and it's got an orifice. Heart of the infection. trigger them. Get them to blow up and give me more bullets. Oh, fuck. Those things were homing for a second. Oh. I just noticed this guy's name, Maelstrom. Stingers, that's not a bad idea. Uh, game, you wanna, you wanna move? Wanna move? I'd like to move. Oh, they're not going for the weak spot. Woo -hoo -hoo! Not paying attention when he had that. Bullets. I'm out of bullets! The worst possible timing to run out of the bullets. There we go. And that was easy. That was easy. Really? That was it? I was so expecting a second phase. Like, seriously, I was expecting a second phase. Well, it was nice enough to drop a nice load of stuff here. Weapon core, beta charge gear. None of these are actually active. Ooh, shield penetration gear. Look, it's a hyper. Look, it's a battery. Altis Lavoir. I still don't know where I stick this thing. Cells preservation status is good. Great. Be careful with it now. You should head back. I'll have the pod waiting for you once you go outside. Huh? Wait. Eh? There's, there's a legacy here. A what? A legacy? What's that? It's a device with records left by the airborne squad before me. Oh. They leave important information for the next airborne squad. I see. But why would an airborne squad come all the way here and not wipe out all the natibas Maybe they knew something about the alpha or the elder i'll check the legacy cool is this just an info dump or am i going to get an ability for this too day eight after the second dive third record legacy account raven remaining survivors ripley and Danis. Anis is in a bad condition. Death is very likely at this rate. 
We discovered this laboratory 4.47 kilometers from the drop-off point. It seems to be a facility that studied Natibas, but it's hard to obtain accurate information due to severe contamination. Yeah. However, I discovered an astonishing fact while searching through the data. Mm -hmm. Before the war we call the Final War, there was another war. It was a war fought between humanity and the androids humanity had themselves created. The so-called Andro Ados. Ooh. Humans lost the war against their own creation. The few humans who did survive hid in underground facilities, but the hunt was far from over. Ah. However, an unexpected factor turned the tide of the war. With mankind at the verge of extinction, Natiba's powerful creatures from an unknown origin appeared out of nowhere. The war with the Natibas brought about the destruction of the androids. And so, during this time, mankind was able to make its escape to the colony. Mm. From now on, I plan to investigate the origin of Natibas. Hopefully, at the origin point, I should find the elder Natiba. To anyone who may be watching, may Mother Spear's blessings be with you. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. I didn't think a record like this existed. And there was another big war before the final war. I never learned about anything like that at the colony. What do you think, Adam? The history of mankind is riddled with conflict. It's hardly a surprise to hear about wars before the final war. Even so, it's strange that this wasn't passed down. I'll retrieve the legacy and go back. Interesting. Wait a moment, Eve. I can pick you up with the tetrapod. Okay, I'll be waiting. Mm hmm. Hmm. Huh. Wild. Wild. So, that might be it. I might be right with this. So, we had androids and humans fighting. The androids were winning. The humans, in their desperation, create the Natibas lose control of their own creation after they wipe out the androids and the few remaining humans escape to, into the colony where they're forced to embrace the very thing they hate in order to survive and have any chance whatsoever at beating their own creation. Oh, that's fucking wild. Oh, you both have green markers next to you. Tell me if you need anything. Uh... You're a repair console, so give me my weapon level enhancement because more damage is more damage. And now I'm happily not gonna have to buy any of these until after I buy this. You did great. Shall we go back to Zion? Uh. Is there anything else you have to do? Actually, I, what I should do before we head to Zion is come back out here to the solar tower and. Oh, that's this mission. All right, so I'm gonna run back to the camp. We're gonna fast travel over to the solar tower and see if we can't find that thing that Digger wants. Oh, what he wants is in the tower. Oh, it's just here at the bottom. Okay. That's handy. Network access code confirmed. Good. Things that was... Really hmm. I don't like it, but I guess a favor is a favor. That's a lot better than I thought it would be. I thought for sure this was going to be a giant case of, oh yeah, by the way, we're going to make you climb the friggin' tower again. Thank you for not. Okay, Adam, let's go take this thing back and uh, see what it gets us. You did great, Eve. Shall we go back to Zion? We shall indeed. Let's get on board. Let's see if I'm right, and this is going to get us the location of Alpha number two that we get to go fight. Then we'll beat that, get another hypercell, get another alpha location, beat that, and rinse and repeat until we have all four alphas. I didn't see any other connections in the wasteland. Hmm. 
curious. Are we just going to be using the tetrapod to get to the other zones then? Alright. I'm sure I've got some quests I can drop off here. Uh, talk to Hugh. Go to the presence chamber. Here's where the network access code is. Alright, let's get going. Alright, Hugh. Oh, you're back. Mm hmm. Did you meet them? What happened? I'm afraid they're all dead. Sorry, man. No way. Oh, Adam's like trying to dodge the sparks. Natiba took them by surprise. I dealt with it. Your comrades did not stand a chance against a monster like that. Nor did I, God. I see. My apologies, Angel. I've been hoping for their safe return ever since I lost contact with them. I'll report to the captain. Thank you for retrieving their memories. I'm sorry. It's been an honor to help those brave warriors. Ah, <sighs> sorry, man. Woo! Oh, drone upgrade material. That was definitely worth it. Uh, I should also check and see, uh... I think we got all the quests on the message board, but I'll double check. Right, the last side quest I have for that actually wants me to go to the Cradle, which I think is, uh... also down here. Which is fine. Let me swing around, go see if I can't find that network access code that Digger wants. It is over here somewhere. Oh, I see the plot. I see the lit up spots. Oh, I've got posters to read. I missed these, apparently. Curse the Haven's royalty, or Heaven's royalty. Decades have passed since the final war, but we still suffer in this cesspit of monsters and sandstorms called the surface. Mother Sphere promised us salvation. She did not keep her promise. Did she ever send an evacuation shuttle or a rescue team? Mother Sphere does not lie. This means there's another mastermind behind this injustice, and we all know who they are. I curse the Heaven's royalty. Judgment be upon those who hide in the colony, laughing at us for our misery. They deserve to be nowhere but in hell, for they twisted Mother Sphere's will. You're making a lot of assumptions there, sir, and they're not all good. Ooh. Could I eat? Oh, breach crate. Should probably make the ones that you get to do sequence like that a little faster, because they're a lot easier to deal with. Just some polymers. Nothing too extravagant, uh, but I do see uh, ooh, some coins, another poster to read. What do we got? Let us pray, brothers and sisters. So, oh, I was reading that. May we find salvation, Mother Sphere said. It was the most beautiful thing she said, and we all must cherish it. A long time has passed since the final war, and our only hope is her prophecy in this filth-ridden surface crawling with blasphemous nativas. Our faith prevails. It will endure. It will stand. It will not go astray. For she does not lie. We will find our place in space soon. Pray, my good family. Peace be with all my brothers and sisters who come to visit. For more inquiries, find Francis in the bookshop next to the Zion entrance. <laughs> Uh, oh. Knock, knock. Oh, there's a live cannon here. Ta-da! Mont Blanc. Not what I was looking for. Uh, was looking for... Code? Code below me, I imagine. Yep, code below me. There's number two. Ooh. And another box. That requires an actual code. Kind of meh. Oh, do you have more things I could buy, madame? Hello, Angel. Business has been much better lately, thanks to you. Well, that's good. If my sister was here to help, we would be much better stocked. Uh. I understand. I have someone who is almost like a sister to me. Your sister sounds like a smart businesswoman. My sister's name is Kara. Kara. 
She's strong and decisive. Mm -hmm. So I believe she's out there. Somewhere. And you keep on hoping, little sister. You keep on hoping. Oh, quest? This topic cannot be discussed yet. Oh, okay. I suppose I've got to get you to level three first before you're willing to do that, huh? Hmm. These require some bitcoins. Oh. Uh, I'll take that one. Shield enhancement gear. Oh! 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 See, there was a lifesteal thing. My comrades are waiting. I have, it's a good thing, all right, Angel? Thank you, Kaya. Of course, now I'm desperately low on Bitcoins. But the ability to just gain, like, seriously, the ability to just gain health. Uh, where are you? I want this. And attack power when low, shield penetration, bonus XP acquisition. This I don't need at the moment because I'm I don't have enough things to spend SP on. Wait, what? Oh, I need a fusion cell. Sir, do you have a fusion cell? What? Who is it? A real angel? Huh? <laughs> I've only heard about them in rumors. It's nothing to do with me. Can you leave? I have nothing to sell you. Damn. Grouch. <laughs> oh, hey, I missed another poster over here. Uh, funding announcement, Colony Built Rocket. Oh. We, the proud team of Zion Rocketeer, have been working on the Vox Veritas project to condemn the Heaven's Royalty who have been benefiting from the blessing of Mother Sphere and send our long-awaited request to Mother Sphere. May we find salvation. The prophecy can't be fulfilled if we just sit back and wait for it to happen. Our team believes that through wisdom, courage, and unity, we must reach out and take salvation for ourselves. Join us today! What will we do? The Vox Veritas project was initiated to build a kerosene-based rocket which can travel to the geostationary orbit of Earth. Currently, our team is simultaneously working on the construction of the rocket, collection of fuel in the wasteland and great desert, and collection of fertilizer for the production of oxidizing agent. Note that all funds will be spent on purchasing necessary resources for the construction of the rocket. <laughs> Contributor rewards! Tier 1, 200,000 gold or more. A ticket for Vox Veritas. A clearance to upload unlimited data on Vox Veritas' database. Uh, tier 2, 50,000 gold. A special Rocketeer gear. A clearance to upload data for two people in Vox. Tier 3, 10,000 gold. A special Rocketeer gear. A chance to upload data for one person. And Tier 4, 1,000 gold. A Rocketeer badge. God damn it, it's Patreon. It's friggin' Patreon. This one also requires a code that I do not yet know. Hmm. Oh, hey. <laughs> There's some money in the fountain. That's cute. Hmm. You think something important. Angel in Zion. Yes. The prophecy will soon come true. What prophecy are we talking about? Oh, I can just park my ass in some chairs. Nice, but unnecessary. There we are. A little five second R and R, perfectly suited for me. Uh, did I ever actually search that side of the world? I don't think I did. No, I clearly did not. I see posters and such. I missed this side of the world when I was going through Zion the first time. Look at this. More posters around here. So you blockhead. Are you dimwits still believing in Mother Sphere? I'm Pierre, a citizen of Zion. 
Recently, I've come to pity those boneheads who still believe that Mother Sphere will save us all. If you truly believe it, then how come you don't even know what Mother Sphere actually is? May we find salvation, the praise that we are all familiar with, right? Yo, you numbskulls think Mother Sphere will save you from this hellhole, for she does not lie! You are dead wrong. When she said we, it doesn't mean you and me, it means humankind is an entire species. And my salvation and yours won't do crap for the salvation of humankind. Mother Sphere knows us, but she does not remember us. There's no need. As long as our species prevails, you and I are considered expendable. I might come off as a bit offensive, and I hope so. Because I'm more offended by your religious babbling about Mother Sphere. You should all stop wasting time. Grab a flashlight, a wrench, a rifle, scavenge your resources, fix our infrastructure, and fight our enemies to ensure our survival. See, this man gets it. This man gets it. There are two drink machines over here. I imagine at least one of these is still active, right? <laughs> ah, some good old cold brew. Thought so. Figured only one of these would be live. What else we got around here? Is that a live poster? It is not. Had to check. Had to check. Locked. Locked. There's quite a few of these locked chests around here in Zion. A couple coins here. But uh, what was up there? It's all something. Just this object. But it's off the map. Huh. Curious. Very curious indeed. Oh, hi. Who are you? Oh my, you're the angel. The one that I've been hearing about. Sorry, I didn't recognize you. Oh, well, you don't have to be sorry. Y yes. <laughs> End conversation? Oh. You had a look around? Perhaps our offerings weren't as impressive compared to- No, that's not true. Weird. Barry? He has a- Barry runs a strange shop called Barry's. Hmm. I guess I haven't unlocked whatever Barry is, uh, supposed to be interacting with. Hmm. Well, regardless, it's time to head down. We got main story. I also got the last little side quest that's down here. Just keep on pinging, keep on double checking. I didn't miss nothing else. Like, say, the, no, there was something. Thought there was something there, but I was wrong. All aboard! Cradle bound. Anything interesting down here? No. Uh. Actually, I'll save these just for a moment. I, I have a hunch that if I do this, there's a chance I might actually unlock a, a skill tree. We'll see if I'm right. I would love to be right. Probably wrong, but we'll see. Hello, old man. Uh, I'll be back for you in just a moment. I have to go check and see, or not, I'm gonna get cutscened. As expected, my eyes did not deceive me. Excellent work, Adam. I'll leave this one to you as well. Let's go to the hyperdrive. Huh. All right. Secondary drive energy injection. Initiating activation. Second big battery in. Whoa, it looks brighter now. Yes, what we're doing is really worth it. Is it? Is it really? Oh, well, I'm here. Uh, so it's oh down. Here we are. Let's see. If I enter the name in the life support device. Health status favorable. Sleep mode. Sleep mode is activated, and only the necessary functions required for minimal life support are running. Energy is needed for physical activation. A message from the sleeper. Don't come looking for me. Run away, you idiot. What's this Aww. message? I see. Return to the bulletin board and report the results. Well, we'll get there eventually. You know. First things first. 
Gotta go talk to Oracle, apparently. What are you just another caretaker? Hey, move out of the way. I'm busy. A Angel? Sorry I didn't recognize you. I'm definitely an ungrateful one. Yeesh. <sighs> the way people act around here is far too reverent for my liking. Hmm. All right, to Oracle. All right, old man, I brought you a battery. Now tell me where I can find a big bad Natiba to go slice and dice. Once again, thank you. Now it's your turn. Wait, he will give you an answer. There's a sewage treatment facility and a train graveyard in the old city center. Mm -hmm. I am detecting the frequencies of an Alpha Nativa coming from Matrix 11. Matrix 11. I will forward the map data to the Tetrapod. It will guide you as you attempt to travel to the Alpha Nativa's location. Well, thanks for helping us. It means a lot. None of this can compare to all that you have done, Perzion, I assure you. <clears throat> I wish you luck. Hmm. Well, that was nice. We got another location. All right, you two go prep the pod. I'll go drop off my mission at the bulletin board, right? Oh, you're going to follow me. I'll talk to Adam at the safe house. That's fine. Oh, I couldn't run. <laughs> I tried to run and it stopped me. The town seems different. Mm -hmm. I see more people, more signs. Mm. I told you, what we've accomplished has been well worth it. I don't think we'll be catching any more sideways glances. Well, that's great to hear. To be honest, I was getting a bit anxious. I'm heading over to the Tetrapod. Why don't you take some time to enjoy the new scenery? Mm-hmm. New sea- Oh my god, the floodgates have opened! What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven new stinking side missions popped up? Holy crapinola! Well, it looks like I'm gonna be busy for the next couple episodes. Uh, however... This seems like a half decent spot to stop, actually. So, if you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite, and subscribe to join me for more booty shaking action. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.